And just like that, we're back. <laughs> that didn't take long. <laughs> Woo! Man, I'll tell you what. Now, yesterday we did say that, you know, hey, we, we were going to be live around the one to two-ish time frame. <laughs> we're, we're close. <laughs> Believe it or not, we were filming other things. No, you don't say. <laughs> it's a lot going on around here, people. Uh, it, welcome in, welcome good. in. Guns now, and Gear Live. If, do we need to explain what Guns and Gear Live or we all kind of know what's going on here, right? Guns and Gear Live is a show where we feature the newest, the hottest, the latest, the greatest products for shooters and hunters all over the land. And today, we've got a really good one. Now, last year, they started, they launched, Crimson Trace launched a line of scopes. Yes. Crimson right? Trace expanded out from, they, they did lasers, and they started doing lights, and they go, you know what, we can do scopes, and some red dots, and some different kinds of stuff. Well, it was kind of like, I think these guys have a two, three, four year plan, but it was kind of like, that's, that's cool, and that's actually, several of them are really neat. And they go, well, so here's the thing, in this year, we're bringing out a few more. Like 50. Like 50, like 5-0. But it's all narrowed down to a couple just, like, models. But yeah. you've got different scopes within those two classes. So we talked with them. These are cool. You're going to want to know about these. Whether you're on the hunting side or the shooting side, they have a wide variety of stuff for you. It's a wide variety of stuff, a wide variety of... I mean, one of the coolest things is the amount of reticles they're offering shooters. So if you don't like a MOA, they've got an MIL, you know? I mean, they've got mm -hmm. a, such a wide range. They've got lit reticles. They have unlit reticles. So that's really cool, and it, it's, it's just going to show what Crimson Trace is starting to do for shooters. They're listening to their consumers or the shooters, I mean, and these guys, they're shooters. Yeah, they are, they are into users. And the guy we talked with, um, he is also a shooter. So let's go ahead and roll that, and then you guys ask some questions, we'll talk about it. Well, if you haven't heard, Crimson Trace, they make some pretty sweet optics, and they, to be honest with you, they got a little lazy this year. They got, I, I don't know what happened, but they're only introducing 50 new scopes, and here to tell us all about them is Jack from Crimson Trace. Jack, welcome in. Thank you, sir. How are you doing today? Well, I'm doing good, but, but you guys need to step up the pace there, Crimson Trace. I don't think 50 is going to do it. I know. I feel bad. I told them, let's try to do 100, and they said the best we can do is 50. So I'll have to do for now, but hopefully we'll have a few more options as we move forward with the new hardline and brushline scopes. Okay. Let's... You know, down, down deep in my heart, I'm a hunter, and you guys brought out the brush line, and I got a sneak peek all last year, and I was actually really impressed with these. These are these are high quality. These are ready to go, and man, if I I bet you I can't beat them up. Yeah, so we're super proud of these scopes. We've been developing for some time now. Um, there's 50 new scopes, like you said, and we're kind of splitting those up between our hard line and our brush line scopes. They're about 50-50. Brush line are going to be our dedicated hunting optics, and hard line is going to be our optimized tactical competition and target shooting scopes. So um, for that dedicated hunter, you're going to want, to want, you're going to want that brush line and you guys doing tactical shooting competition or you just like to shoot off the bench, Hardline's gonna be where you're looking for. Um, so real quick, if you want, I can break down like what is shared between the two scope lines and then we can kind of look at what makes them unique. How does that sound? That sounds great to me, but I, I do want our viewers and our listeners to understand that if you see something in the Hardline uh, range of scopes, you can still take those hunting. It's not like there's a clear division. Yeah, absolutely. You could take a hard line hunting. Um, but here, I'll, I'll break down like what, uh, what these lines share. So all 50 of our scopes are going to have ELD glass. All the lenses are going to have our MOC coatings. All the scopes are made with an, an aerospace grade aluminum construction. And, you know, we are very proud of these scopes. So we back them up with a complete lifetime warranty. No questions asked. If this should fail you in the field somehow, we will replace that scope, no cost to you. 
I do not see these failing <laughs> at all. <laughs> well, that's why we um, backed them up. One of the cool things that I noticed about these when I checked them out was the multiple reticle options that you actually offer over the wide range. You're offering mill reticles, you're offering MOA, you're offering BDC. Give us kind of a, an outline of what we can expect from the uh, reticles. Definitely, yeah. So there are 15, or 17 reticles to choose from. We've got a lot of caliber specific options. I'll talk some brush line reticles first. We're super proud of our brush line BDC and BDC Pro reticle. Um, you know, you guys have seen BDC reticles in the past. Many of them kind of had that circular shape and it was kind of vague on like what point of that circle do I actually aim with, right? So we decided to go with a diamond pattern. And if you know, imagine a diamond in your head and uh, each one of each point on that diamond is going to give you three potential holds. And so our BDC diamond pattern is going to have three. And then when you upgrade to the BDC Pro, that's going to add a fourth diamond for even more hold, uh, you know, options. Uh, we also have caliber specific BDC reticles for 350 Legend, uh, 308 Winchester, 223556. Um, and then when you go to the hard line, you're going to find more tactical uh, optimized reticles with mill and MOA, uh, mill and MOA options. Uh, you're going to start to see some illuminated reticles in our hardline pro scopes. Um, and these also have caliber specific reticles, 556, 223 being a classic. We've got a 300 blackout one. That's one of my favorites. Uh, of course, 308 Winchester, and we have even more reticles we're going to be developing as we move forward with hardline and brush line. It just goes to show that you guys, I mean, you guys continue to work. You continue to pump out good stuff. But one thing is these won't fail you because of the machining and everything and the work and dedication you guys put into it. But talk a little bit about like what they can expect down the road because this is really only a base. Exactly. You know, as Crimson Trace, we, as we move forward with scopes, um, we're going to keep the hard line and brush line themes. You know, we're going to develop more longer range scopes. We're going to have scopes that have 34 millimeter tubes. Uh, we're going to we're working on a really exciting one to 10. Um, these are all for, for the future, though. So we have the 50 right now. And I'd love to show you a couple of my favorites from the two lines. If you guys are interested in seeing a couple, uh, one of my favorites is our six to 24. Uh, long range scope. Uh, it's going to come with a sunshade since this is going to be a long range optic. Um, you're going to find all of the features that you want in a long range scope. Uh, zero stop, zero reset. This is illuminated. It has nice tall turrets for, you know, lots of elevation and windage travel. Um, the aggressive knurling is another thing you're going to see on all of our scopes. You know, it's, uh, it makes it that much easier to grab it, especially if it's cold and you've got gloves on. You know, they're very smooth, very easy to manipulate. And that's something you'll see across the entire line. That's awesome. Do you have a favorite in the hard line? Do you have something there that you're, you're kind of excited that you've got in front of you that you can show our folks? It's, it's a toss up. I love, you know, tactical shooting. So we have an awesome one to six LPVO. This is illuminated. Um, it's got our Crimson Trace competition reticle. Uh, it's optimized for those three gun, two gun competitions, tactical use. Uh, it's also a great home defense scope. If you like to use an AR for your home defense, as I do, you're going to love this one to six here. Um, if I had to pick that six to 24 I talked about, awesome reticle. It's perfect for long range shooting. Um, another one I like is a four to 16. Very similar to our six to 24. It also comes with the sunshade. It also has zero stop and zero reset and illuminated uh, perfect mid range. If you don't need to be shooting beyond 800 yards, I love this four to 16. So this is kind of my favorite three for the Hardline series, but we've got 22 specific reticles. Uh, if you just like to go plank with some 22s, I mean, it's hard to pick a favorite, but the three I mentioned here are kind of up there for me. Well, it's kind of like picking your favorite kid or your favorite pet. Yeah, you know, how just, can you? You don't want to hurt any feelings, but you, deep down, I know you got one, but you just won't share it with me. I and can't, okay. I can't, uh, Jack, not gonna, in front of the kids. Gonna, we're not going to get into that, but you guys at Crimson Trace continue to grow those lines. I can't wait to see more from brush line and hard line. You guys have done a great job. So Crimson Trace actually is not getting lazy. They're just picking up speed. So many choices. I wish they just, I wish <laughs> Crimson Trace would just get off their butts and actually do something and introduce something new. <laughs> I'm, during this thing, while we're playing the video, I'm on their website 
and I'm looking through all the different scopes, and I'm like, oh, man, that's cool. See, Ooh. Um, Luke asked a question, and it's a good one. Um, those look like they are easy to manipulate with gloves, are they? We were on a prairie dog hunt, um, and I found them to be very easy. Mm -hmm. um, they, the, it's a very tactile grip that they, you've got on your turrets. Um, easy to use. Um, they've got the right touch in all the right places, man. They, they, they're really nice. Yeah, they've, they've put some thought into it. Um, real quick, click the link in the description of this video if you want to go check out the scopes. Um, it'll take you right there to the brush line and hard line. Uh, we have a typo, hard live. Hard line uh, oh, optics visit. I? I mean, come on. Well, rookie hour. <laughs> um, but click the link uh, in the description of the video and it'll take you there. But there's a special thing yeah. we worked Inter out. All you, yeah, we worked it out. Hey, uh, and congratulations actually, for watching this. It just like hit just now. Like I got a text message from our girl Emily over there. Thank you, Emily, for working so hard on this today. But uh, if you guys enter code GUNTALK10 at checkout, you'll get an added 10% off of your purchase. I'll take that. How cool is that? Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. Nice. Um, now, before we got off, Ryan was like, hey, we need to talk about you know reticles and, and what's different and what's your favorite type of reticles. Yep. So in the Brushline series, they've got eight different reticles that you can choose from. In the hard line, they've got three, six, nine. They've got ten different reticles um, throughout the all. all so the how things. does one choose? It's all in preference. I start. I start, and when I'm selecting a reticle, I start at I like Mills. I do better with Mills than I do MOA. Right. So that's where I start, um, and it's all application. It depends what am on I gonna, the application. What am I going to really do? But I'm I'm looking at a mill scope. They've got a uh, MR1 MIL, which is illuminated, which I really like. Um, and I'll use that, like if I'm hunting field edges and stuff like that in those low light hours. You know, uh, real dark reticles tend to disappear, um, and that's when an illuminated reticle that has options on how bright it is, brightness settings. Um, that's when it gets r really nice to have an illuminated reticle is in those uh, low light hours. Um, so let's see, I'm just looking at this, we, we got some comments coming in, my 5108 has a 34 millimeter tube, mm -hmm. yeah, I, it depends on the application, um, I, I, the lit reticle, the lit aiming point can be really handy, yeah. because it can be difficult when it starts getting low light, and you've got a black crosshair on a dark haired critter, Yes. all of a sudden you're like, where am I aiming here? You know, you're yeah. guessing because you're like, okay, that looks like about the middle of the scope. Um, well, but it's nice to have a little glowing dot. And to that point, if, let's say you do not have a <laughs> lit reticle. Um, when you are you find yourself in that situation, you, that's when aligning that reticle to your eye and having that certain point where every time you hit, it's lined up correctly. That helps. That's mm -hmm. when it helps, when you know you're dead center of that reticle and you don't have any shadows creeping in. Yeah, yeah. But they've got, they've got BDC reticles. Um, BDC reticles, I, I just haven't used them enough. And, and there's a couple times, when, not from, uh, from Crimson Trace, but I've, I've had some issues with BDC reticles, but they've actually thought it through. So they've got a scope really cool. They've got a scope for the 350 Legend that I'd love to get in, mm -hmm. but every point, so your BDC reticle is a diamond shape, and at every point is a different the yardage. yardage. So and it's not I, just the circle. I like being able, I mean, I know that dialing up is the, the preferred <laughs> method, but I like being able to do quick adjustments in the scope yeah. and just, you know, just hold a little bit higher mm -hmm. Not just guess guessing, not Kentucky windage, right. but now we've got aiming points in the reticle, and that way you know. And one of those things that you have to shoot with it a lot, I think, yes. to be totally comfortable. Because if you go, okay, you know, coyotes, he's coming uh -huh. in, he's at 200, okay, 200, but he keeps coming. You're like, okay, no, wait Crap, a minute. He winded me. Yeah, now he's <laughs> now we're at 150 or whatever. You can make those adjustments quickly rather than trying to dial it and all that stuff, which. 
again, I know that would be the perfect situation, right. but in the field, real life scenarios, thinking quick on your feet, shooting and, quick. And within the brush line, and I need to get a couple of these optics in, but they've got a BDC muzzle loader that's already pre-calibrated for a 50 caliber. Yeah. Um, they do the nice. same thing for a Predator uh, BDC reticle, which is pre-calibrated for a 223. Well, and the muzzle loader, going back to that real quick, it's really important because the modern day muzzle loaders will shoot a pretty good distance. You yes. can shoot stuff out to oh, 200 yards maybe. At or, least, and but, 250 but would be pushing. But they are not going fast. It is a big, heavy bullet. So when you get out to 150, 200 yards, it is starting to drop pretty quickly. Yes. So having that reticle makes a big right. difference. It's, it's not the same as like, oh, I'm used to my my 308. It's like way different <laughs> than what the drop's gonna be. It really is, and I think, and they've got rimfire, uh, you know, BDC reticles, which is really cool. But but what they've done with the BDC reticles, I think, within the Crimson Trace line and and having so many, it's not just, okay, this is your circle and this is where you're aiming. They've got little points in there that are pre-calibrated to your rifle. Yeah. So, which which that's cool. And then moving over the Hardline series, and I, I think I made, made kind of a joke because I think people, you know, they'll think Hardline, okay, that's only for tactical guys. I like using a lot of these Hardline uh, reticles for hunting. Absolutely. Yeah, there's certain ones. And they, they, we talked about the LPVO, low power variable optic. Which That's you, what that means? I, I know. We, we get in the industry, LPVO, LPVO. Well, I mean, if you're not nerding out like we are on this stuff, you may not be paying attention. But usually it's a one power to something power, one to four, one to six. They have a one to six power here. Man, that'll do a lot. I mean, that a one to six power, um, you can just kind of cover the, the whole, you know, from basically zero yards to... Call it six, seven hundred yards. You can you can make shots. They also have a very cool reticle in this. As <laughs> I saw that one. <laughs> as you crank it up, it kind of goes from this big circle, and that big circle disappears, and now you've got a more precise uh, reticle aiming point, which is pretty neat. More of like a BDC, it seems. Yeah, it's a it's right. A, yeah, that's what uh, it. I mean, they that's call what it. it looks they like. call it the uh, competition illusion, eliminated. Illuminated CT custom competition reticle. Um, so just. A, a few of the many <laughs> options they've got out there from Crimson Trace. They are absolutely well, an optics company making a bunch of scopes. And I think we need to talk about the value folks are getting with these. Yeah. They're not, they, these are not, you know, the seventeen to $2,000 scope. Right, they, yeah. And they're using high-end ELD glass. I mean, so, mm -hmm. so really there's a lot of value in something like this, I think. Yeah, yeah, and, I mean... With the gun talk code, gun enter. talk ten, into you gun enter talk that 10, at checkout, you get ten percent off. There you go. Yeah, click the link in the description. Go check it out, and if you buy something, use the code, save yourself a few bucks. Maybe it'll help you buy, you know, like three rounds of nine. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. Good luck out there. Hey, have a good weekend. Hopefully, get some shooting in, or at least get some dry fire practice in, and uh, listen to Gun Talk Radio on Sunday.